What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of the What is Wrong with your Overwatch League Team series. In today's installment, we'll be talking about the Shanghai Dragons due to their severe underperformance in Stage 4. If you look at Shanghai's 1-5 and five record so far this stage, it really makes you wonder if it's the same team that won the Stage 3 Finals. It's crazy to think about, but the Dragons are somehow doing far worse in a DPS-oriented meta compared to when GOATS was still a thing. But before we dive straight into what I think is wrong with the Shanghai Dragons, let me quickly explain how the series works for any of you who may be new to it. So basically, what I do is discuss a team that I've been thinking a lot about lately due to them struggling greatly. What I try to do is address some of the issues said team has clearly been having and talk about ways in which they could potentially fix them and improve as a team moving forward. It really is interesting to see a team of Shanghai's caliber suddenly flop, so today's discussion should be pretty fun. Also, please remember that any team I focus on in this series receives nothing but tough love. At the end of the day, every esports team wants to win, and if you're struggling to do this, then it's crucial that your team can figure out potential ways to get back on track. And that's what I'd like to do with Shanghai today. Alright, with explanations out of the way, let's get started, shall we? So what the heck is wrong with the Stage 4 Shanghai Dragons? How do you go from Stage 3 champs who defied GOATS by dominating on DPS to a team who may end up finishing the following stage with only one win? Well, from what I've seen, one of the biggest answers lies within their DPS. In this stage, we've seen the meta transition into one that involves a lot of Mei, Reaper, and Snipers. And naturally, you'd think Shanghai would be pretty decent because of this. Well, at least when they play Snipers. But no, that has not been the case at all. Ding, who has been the hard carry for Shanghai pretty much all year, looks very vulnerable right now. He has been the designated Mei player for the Dragons this stage, and to put it simply, he's been anything but impressive. Ding is very strange. He can't seem to play well on the heroes that are a big part of the meta. He couldn't really play Brig or D.Va when Goats was the thing in stages 1 and 2, so he played a lot of Sombra instead. And when Sombra Goats became very prevalent during stage 3, he started playing a lot of Pharah during Shanghai's playoff run. I swear it's like the guy's allergic to playing what's meta or something. No matter what he does, he just can't seem to keep up with many of the other DPS players in the league on May. For some reason, his Blizzard usages are just not very efficient, his walls have been kind of meh at times, and overall he hasn't been securing a lot of kills. I believe that when he plays Farah and Sombra is still one of the best in the league, but he's mostly been playing Mei this stage, so it doesn't really matter that much. The Dragons have desperately needed a Mei player, and Ding has not been the answer. But it's sad to think that he's likely the best option they have on her, because why would he be on Mei if Ding or Youngjin could play her better, you know? And speaking of Diem and Youngjin, they haven't been too hot themselves either. Diem actually hasn't been playing that much lately, which is kind of surprising. It is true that he's not extremely flexible, and he's more effective on Hitscan and Hanzo than anything else, but it's not hard to play Reaper. And you'd think his Hanzo or Widow would probably come in handy on maps where he plays snipers a fair amount, but I guess not according to Shanghai. I personally feel like he couldn't do much worse than what we've seen from Youngjin so far, but that's just me. And there have definitely been some situations where Shanghai probably could have used Diem's expertise on sniper heroes. I think Youngjin is a pretty good Hanzo, but if there's any situation where the Dragons need a Widow, then and they're screwed if Ding and Youngjin are in the game. Like, there was one example of this recently in their loss to the Soul Dynasty. On Ilios Lighthouse and Well, the Dragons decided to run Fair Doomfist, and the Dynasty countered with a Fair of their own and a Widowmaker. And needless to say, things went horribly for Shanghai for the most part. It's true that they won Lighthouse, but I wouldn't exactly say it was pretty. And it's not like Ding really did bad or anything like that, though. The problem is that Ding was getting pressured really hard. Fits on Widow is enough to deal with as it is, but when you factor in Fleta trying to take him down too, then it becomes a little too much for him to handle on his own. It would be different if Youngjin was pressuring Fitz and securing kills on that Doomfist, but for the most part, he was failing to do these things. So at that point, it was all up to Ding to try and put the team on his back, but there was far too much pressure on him to even stay in the sky, so that didn't go too well. If I were Shanghai, I maybe would have considered running Diem in the lineup if they chose not to really play a lot of Reaper and May here. Think about it. At that point, it becomes a mirror match. It all evens out. Both sides have Pharah pressure and a counter sniper. But no, instead Shanghai wanted to play Doomfist and it failed badly. I don't want to assume anything just yet, but maybe Shanghai was only good on DPS because of the triple DPS Wrecking Ball stuff. Or maybe it's just the Mei Bunker stuff that's messing them up right now. Regardless of the reason, the Dragons are in desperate need of some improvement when it comes to their DPS. Youngjin, Ding, and Diem need to figure it out. This level of play is not going to take them far in the playing tournament. Step it up before it's too late, guys. Your teammates are depending on you. But I think Shanghai's problems definitely go beyond their DPS, even though it's probably their main issue. Although I think Envy's D.Va is solid, his Roadhog definitely could use some work. He hasn't been making a lot of plays with his hook, both in the individual sense and when it comes to comboing with Gamsu. It kind of feels like he lacks that synergy with Gamsu right now. Their Orisa Hog looks far weaker compared to Gamsu and Youngjin. Even Gagri had her moments in the few maps she's played this stage. They theoretically could play Youngjin on Hog, but he still can't really play D.Va. And while Gagri is at least decent at D.Va, she can't really play it at the level that Envy can. 
Since Envy is the more well-balanced player compared to Youngjin and Gagory, he definitely needs to try and step it up and become better at that Roadhog by comboing with Gamsu better and by just getting better with the individual plays in general, kind of like FRD on the Atlanta Rain or Choyobin on the Shock. Those guys are killing it. Envy needs to try and replicate that kind of success. In my opinion, the only somewhat consistent pieces on Shanghai have been their supports and I suppose Gamsu to a certain extent. Koma, Luffy, and Izayaki have all looked decent. Now, I wouldn't say they've been dominating or anything like that, but they certainly have looked better than the rest of their team. Even Gamsu, who I think hasn't been bad on the Orisa, has disappointed me a little if I'm going to be honest. But after what I saw from him in the Stage 3 playoffs on Orisa, I thought he'd be at least a little bit better than what I've seen so far. But even if he's disappointed me slightly, he's far from being a major problem on this team. That belongs to the DPS and Envy in my opinion. They have straight up been underwhelming on a consistent basis when it comes to the Roadhog and May Bunker comes. I think you can make an argument that Youngjin looks decent on the Hanzo to be fair, but his Reaper could use some work sadly. And to be honest, I think I prefer DM's Hanzo over Youngjin's. DM was solid on it in stage 3, and he's continued that trend even though he's played a lot less this stage. Even if Diem is a mediocre Reaper, it's not like Youngjin has done much better. If you are the Dragons, you have to try something different. Things cannot go on as they currently stand. Maybe try experimenting with your rotation a little in your final game against the Spark. You already have your playing tournament spot locked up, so what's there to lose? Unless the Valiant somehow beat the Shock or Gladiators and the Dragons lose against the Spark, or the Valiant win both of their games, then Shanghai is locked into that number 11 spot. Something has to change. Change. This team hasn't won a game in almost a month. Their last win came against the Dynasty in the first week of Stage 4. I want to keep in mind that Seoul came back and beat them badly in Week 3. But anyway, that match took place on July 28th when they beat Seoul. And if they do lose to the Spark in the Kit Kat rivalry weekend, then they won't have another chance to get back into the W column until Friday, August 30th when the playing tournament begins. If Bunker May continues to stick around, then Shanghai better pray that they can improve. There is a realistic world in which 2-2-2 ruins the Dragons. It really does sound weird to say out loud since this team's looked so comfortable on DPS in the past. A 1-6 record to end the regular season would be pitiful enough, but an early playoff exit after what they accomplished just one one month ago would be tragic. If Shanghai are unable to improve upon the issues I talked about, then hopefully Sigma is their saving grace or something. Maybe Gamsu or someone else on that team could master him. It could be like Mickey with Brigitte last year. She ended up being a game changer for the fuel in stage 4, so maybe Sigma could have a similar effect for the dragons. Either that, or they have to figure out some kind of anti-meta thing that works for them like they did during the stage 3 playoffs. Because right now, if I'm going to be completely honest, their level of skill isn't going to cut it. They've been getting smacked around since that one against Seoul in week 1. They nearly have twice as many map losses as they do wins, and to make things worse, they haven't taken more than one map in any of their losses so far. Even the lowly Toronto Defiant were too much for the Dragons to handle in Stage 4. And keep in mind that Toronto's only win in the second half of the year came against the Dragons. Being the only team to lose to a Defiant squad that has been an easy win on the schedule for most has to hurt. I never thought I would ever have to say this, but the Dragons look like a mess right now, and it's hard to understand why. They have every tool needed for success. They have the veteran leadership and experience from Gamsu, and a boatload of super talented pieces on DPS and support. They shouldn't be doing this poorly, but their lack of consistency on DPS and Bunker in general is killing them right now. Time to change things up or show major improvement. Those are your choices, Shanghai. Make the necessary adjustments or you won't be making it far in the playoffs this year. Don't just sit there and do nothing like in your game against Seoul where you stubbornly refuse to switch up your compositions and lineups even though you clearly needed to. Take action, guys. Don't have such a short-lived peak in your 2019 season. Be that team we all know you're capable of being. Grind out those heroes and comps you're struggling with or find some sort of alternative. Time is ticking for the Shanghai Dragons and I fear that it could be too late for them if something doesn't get altered fast. It really does sadden me that I felt it was necessary to make a video for Shanghai in this series just because they're so talented and they have so many good pieces, but they've had a couple of issues that have really held them back. It really is sad though because your Bostons and your Dallases of the world have so many more issues than Shanghai does, but those couple of issues that have been really just plaguing Shanghai's performances in game have been huge. If Ding and Envy can improve upon Mei and Roadhog respectively, then maybe Diem gets some more playtime, the Dragons probably could be a decent team again. And you never know what the whole Sigma thing. If he does end up becoming meta, then perhaps the Dragons could use him to their advantage if Gamsu or maybe one of their other tank players becomes really good with him. And with that being said, I think that's just about going to wrap up another installment of the What Is Wrong With Your Overwatch League Team series. It's kind of funny that I had to make a video about Shanghai just because they have a decent record this year, but they're suffering from such simple and very noticeable issues. So what do you guys think is wrong with the Shanghai Dragons? Make sure to let me know down in the comments section. And if you did enjoy this content, then be sure to like and subscribe. As always, thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, this is ATP, signing out. Peace.